friends in this lecture we are going to learn about internet control message protocol so what is internet control message protocol so it's for error handling in the network layer okay so different types of errors can occur in the internet and the internet control message is for reporting those errors and for debugging the network so for example let's say we are sending a packet to some destination so what happens if the router cannot send that packet then it will send one error message saying that i could not deliver that message to the other destination so let's try to see so we see here that ip protocol has no error reporting mechanism okay so it has no error reporting or correcting mechanism so it uses message okay so you can consider always the network to be kind of a group of people so like routers so if i'm sending a you are sending a postal message to someone and let's say it was not delivered and it was somehow stolen in a in between city so if no one reports you anything so you will think that okay the mail has gone to the destination but if you report the error then he can very fast know that it was not sent and he will resend that message so this is the benefit so icmp resides in the ip layer itself okay and icmp is there in the ip layer and the message format is there will be icmp message it will be along with the icmp ip header that okay who is the sender and who is the receiver of the packet so icmp message are usually divided into two categories okay so this is a lengthy verbose lines are there icmp messages are divided into two broad categories okay one is for error reporting okay so i will be reporting some error message or something wrong and have has happened another one is for debugging and it is query messages that i want to ask my neighbor that are you there are you still there are you alive or something like that so if let's say there are two computers on the machine and i want to know if this server is still running so i can send an icmp echo message that are you alive or something like that i can send a message query message to synchronize our clocks saying what is the time so these are there let's move forward okay so we will now look at message format of icmp okay so whenever we speak so we have kind of some format that okay what all will i need to send error reporting messages there are query messages and check some for finding if there is an any error so let's see the message and its format so icmp message has two things okay it has a category okay what type of message is it so is it like first thing you can find is it is it what is an error inside that you might find the category and there is code so type tells us the type of the error and then the code inside that tells us the subtype so destination unreachable okay so somehow some router will tell you that okay why cannot reach the destination so this is an error message which is tells to the source of the packet then there is source quench okay time exceeded so all these we will learn very soon what are they so then you have query message like echo request and timestamp request so what is the message format you will have 8 bits that represent the type so when you get an icmp message to read the header the first 8 bits will tell you the type of the error okay next 8 bits the subtype okay what is the 
सब टाइप ऑफ दैट एर डेस्टिनेशन अनरीचेबल इज इट कमिंग फ्रॉम द होस्ट अदर डेस्टिनेशन देन इट विल हैव डिफरेंट सब कोड ओके इफ इज इट कमिंग फ्रॉम सम राउटर देन इट विल हैव डिफरेंट कोड एंड देन रेस्ट ऑफ फेडर विल बी देयर एंड चेक सम टू डिटेक्ट सम एरर इन द पैकेट ओके ICMP always reports error message to the original source okay so why is that important so i am there is a sender there is a i am going to send to some destination let's say some router find that destination is unreachable so to whom should i send the error to so i will send the error to the source of the packet because then i should send it to someone who was sending not to the destination isn't it so if you are sending a post okay postal mail then if there is some problem i will send it to the sender i will report the error to the sender not the receiver okay so similarly if there is some error message i will report it to the sender of the message so what are the different errors that can occur so we said destination unreachable source quench time exceeded parameter problems and redirection so these are some of the broad categories that you can easily identify using the type of the error message so this is telling how or contents and data fields of the error message so first one that we will see now error message is destination unreachable okay so these are some errors that can occur in the internet so a uh, source is sending to a destination and someone finds that okay the destination is unreachable so how can you know that so if a router comes to know that he will send you an icmp packet okay and in that he will set the type to 3 which tells that okay this type is 3 from where it will understand okay this is destination unreachable code will be it's a 4 bit number so it can be 0 to 15 so it tells that okay was it sent from the destination itself or from some intermediate routers they will have different codes so this is there so you see destination unreachable message with codes 2 and 3 can be created only by the destination host okay so destination unreachable can be sent by the destination itself okay for some reason if the destination doesn't want to process any of the message so it will just send a reply to the source saying that destination is unreachable so here the type will be 3 i think it the type was 3 but the codes will be different okay so it will tell the sub type so is it destination unreachable message reaching from the destination or from some intermediate router other destination unreachable messages can be created only by the routers so this is there and a router cannot detect all the problems that prevent the delivery of the packet now in the internet also it tells that there is no flow control or congestion control mechanism at the network layer or the ip protocol okay so what happens is that your network layer is only concerned with sending the packet so i get some packets i will be sending those packets i will not think that okay is the receiver ready to take those many packets or is there congestion in the network so that i should send less number of packets so there is no mechanism at least on the ip layer so this icmp provides some feedback here so this is called source quench source quench so what it is if let's say this is a router and sender is sending so if i'm sending at a very high rate okay and let's say that the router or some receiver is not able to cope up with such huge data rate so it's something like i'm teaching to some students a group of students and they are not assimilating what so fast whatever lectures i am giving so they can give me a feedback that okay please teach us at a slower rate okay so i will now take only two lectures in a week or something like that so source quench is something like this so if for sender there is a sender there is a receiver receiver feels overwhelmed he will send a source 
quench packet icmp error message which will tell please stop or please send at a lower rate now what is the code for it so the code for it is it is type 4 code is 0 okay and what happens is when you are sending any icmp message so what do we do first is any router that is sending a an icmp message so it will be an ip packet okay and i see it will have the source address so initially let's say packet was going from source to a destination now this one what it will do when the icmp error message will come it will have source is equal to the router destination equal to the source of the original packet inside that it will also put the header plus first eight bytes of the datagram data so that you can identify that okay for which packet the error was generated otherwise you cannot know that so source quench message informs the source that a datagram is discarded due to congestion in the router or the destination host and so the source must show slow down the sending of datagram you please stop sending or slow down so that i can manage so that's the idea and one source quench message is sent for each of the datagram that is discarded and then what happens so what will happen with this what good happens so let's say we had two three senders were there at a router or to a receiver they were all pumping packets very fast to it which the receiver could not handle so it will send a source quench message to all the three that please send a little slowly so that i can manage all the processing of the packet so this way if he sends the congestion will then also decrease so this is still the source quench in the next lecture we will look at other problems that are time to live time exceeded and other problems and in our last lecture on icmp we will see to request ping and trace route how they are handled using icmp so i hope you understand this thanks a lot